All right, so um, one of the things is, right, the lab uh, for the packet tracer lab, wireless radius, uh, where you just do this uh, thinking, right? Um, the video project outline and uh, introduction. So an outline's just, just a list, right? You know, what you're talking about. So basically, you're writing a six-page paper, but in parts, right? I'm mean, getting a lot of questions on this. Um, the outline and the intro paragraph are for me because it's a five hour video. I kind of have to have an idea before I start reading your paper. What are you going to talk about? <laughs> so it just will help me, you know, just you know, get ideas what your paper is going to be about. Um, and so that's what's due on Sunday uh, is just the outline and the introduction paragraph. Uh, then next week, the a rough draft of three pages of the paper and then finally after spring break is the full paper is due so i'm just having to do it in sections i've been getting a lot of questions about it so i uh, thought i'd kind of clear that up um, one thing to note um, it, it's for the next the next uh, assignment or lab practice tracer lab and um, I'll go in here. Uh, I had I issues. Um, so one, oh, I guess got to log in, of course. Okay, in this next assignment, um, the one that's not due until uh, a week from now, uh, it'll have you uh, creating some DSL modems and a cloud, right, uh, with the server, uh, and then a couple switches. Let's see here. What I found is the instructions say to use a generic switch, but I found um, that this does not work. So if you take if you take the DSL modems to the generic switch, they never come online. But if you take the DSL modems to the 296, 2960 route, uh, switch, it will come online. So yeah, Kay, when you put I, it, yeah, it said one hundred percent. Yeah, well, right. Yeah, you're you're you you made all the configuration settings, but the whole thing doesn't work because I noticed that. Yeah, That's weird. yeah, because the use the generic switch that the book tells you to use. Because I was lo looking at your 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 assignment, and it's like it's red. Why is it red? Why won't it work? She's got everything set up right, okay. and the only. The only difference, see, uh, the 2960 turn green, the generic switch will never turn green and thus it will never work. So your your assignment was perfect. It's just the switch doesn't work it's as like, surely, firmware on it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> there is no firmware update. It's you know kicking Cisco, I guess. And maybe maybe in a different version it does work. I don't know. Um, or maybe in a version past it worked, or, but uh, so I just just to let you know, uh, don't don't freak out if you do the generic switch. I'll still you know if you got the hundred percent and it, it's fine, um, but just I, I wanted to even let you know that you know if you wanted to switch it out and see it work, uh, you you can do that. Yeah, I thought that maybe. Um... Right. Yeah. So you you did everything correctly. You followed the book. And uh, but yeah, it's the the switches. So yeah, so wanted to put your mind at ease, and then also uh, stop uh, anybody else from having the same concern or issues uh, when they when you get to it. So um, if if you think about it, when you're doing the uh, the, the WAN leak uh, lab, don't use the generic switch. Use a 2960 because. Uh, yeah. 
Otherwise, it, you know, you you can still pass. It's just it won't work like it says it will. <laughs> the book is wrong. I still don't know why it doesn't work because it shouldn't work. Yeah, that's what I was right. right, right. It it should it should work. There is no reason why it shouldn't work. Anyway, uh, got got that out of the way, and let's see here. So I talked about the the labs. We got the paper, um, and we got another another chapter before we get to the exam, which you know that'll be in in March. We'll do our exam too. Uh, so we're doing all right there. Uh, okay. So what we'll do is I think we'll hit what we'll go into our week six folder. I've got a virtualization report for you to, to bring up. I just want to try and get this out of the way. Um, so if you go to lessons and weeks five through eight and week six, um, there is a virtualization report. And if you click on that, what we're going to do is um, as a class, right, we're going to read a part of it. Um, and then I want you to develop some questions that you have, not questions for an exam, but what kind of questions do you have? And that's where I messed up in the morning and they were trying to create exam questions. It's like, no, you know, I, you're, you're going to have questions on this, right? Because it's a pretty dense uh, report. Um, and so you should have a couple of questions. And uh, then, so what I want you to do um, is read pages eight, nine, and 10. Just read, read to yourself pages 8, 9, and 10, and then try and develop, you know, a couple of questions, or at least think of some questions that you want further to explore, right? Uh, what, you know, because this report's going to give you um, some questions for sure, at least in some of the terms, at least. Um, and then we'll, we'll, come back, I'll, I'll maybe get you to partner up for a little bit, and then we'll uh, get together as a class. But I'm going to give you, uh, that's three pages, so I'm going to give you about 10 minutes here to, to read it, and then another couple minutes to, so we'll, we'll go at 520, 521. Uh, I'll, I'll try to partner you up, um, but so about 521, we'll you know, at least ha have it read and have some questions in mind. I'm going to stop the audio.